young boy now has 12 children. Jesus Christ. Another one. You know, the same as Nick Cannon, and while Tyreek Hill has 11. Uh, Tyreek, I don't know what you're doing. You got to catch up, my boy. We can talk about this guy or this guy or this guy all day long. But when are we going to talk about these ladies? Before the Godfather passed on, he told us that most of these women having these babies are having these babies by the same men. And this is proof right here. You don't have to be a millionaire ass nigga to get multiple women to have children by you. Why do you think this is okay? And then when these kids grow up with all types of issues like abandonment or having issues in their relationships, you wonder what the hell is going on. And then the moms, what they're gonna do is they're gonna blame the father for not being around enough. Fuck them kids. How in God's name can these men possibly be around enough for all these children? They have to go to work. They can never stop working. What's going on YouTube is your boy Ron back with another video if you're new to the platform welcome to the tribe by the end of this video I hope you subscribe so I got a video for you guys from a couple TikTokers one y'all are familiar with um some young ladies that are going to be discussing this whole situation with Cam Newton Nick Cannon uh NBA young boy all these guys entertainers um, that have a lot of children by multiple women and you know women are always so quick to point the finger at the men but we never seem to see women point the finger at the women well at least not up until now so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it this might be controversial to say but when it comes to men like cam newton or like nick cannon or like future who have eight different kids by three different women and still want to get married and have more children who are these women that are still willing to date them like how as a woman in good conscience could you knowingly be sitting up on a date with this man or on a vacation with this man knowing that every minute he spends with you is a minute he's spending neglecting his children and you, for some reason, think that things are going to be different for you and for your kids you may have with him. And even if that is the case, if he's the perfect father to your kids or the perfect husband for you, he's neglecting eight other innocent babies. That is disgusting behavior to me. I don't know. Diabolical. I don't care how much money he has. How do you sleep at night knowing you're contributing to the trauma of eight children? That's insane to me. You know what? She actually makes a valid point. I never really looked at it that way, considering how much women hold men accountable for having all these children. But you never stop to think like, OK, well, if that's the case, then why come y'all don't point the finger at the women that are adding on to that? Because it's like you would think. I would say after baby mama number two, you would think women would be like, okay, you know what? Let me fall back from this guy. I don't want to be baby mama number three and think that he's going to be different with me. I'm not, not, not let, let me not take my chances with him. Let me find a man that's childless and start at least, at least give myself a shot at starting and having my own family instead of sharing him with another woman and him having like i don't understand why it's so hard for women to think like that especially when you consider statistically um percentage at least percentage wise i can't i haven't really done the numbers as far as like actual population but percentage wise um there's more childless men than there are women so uh when you think about that and then you see videos of men such as what you saw in the intro that have does a uh, literally a dozen kids <laughs> which is crazy to me um it just goes to show you like he said everything everything kevin samuels was saying was right 
You know what I mean? And he backed it up with stats. And, you know, we've gone over those stats numerous times. So let's keep it moving. Dr. Bryant said that 70% of women are low functioning. Y'all ain't talking about that. Dr. Bryant talked about how a lot of y'all women are delusional. How you have these fantasies made up in your mind of the men that you want. And then the actual men that you're dealing with, when they don't live up to that fantasy that you created in your head, you deem them not to be good men. Y'all ain't talking about any of that. Women love watching her hold Cam Newton accountable. But when are y'all going to be ready to be held accountable? Because you want so bad for somebody to sit up and hold men like Cam Newton, Nick Cannon, NBA young boy, young dirt. You want people to hold these type of men accountable for the broken homes, the womanizing. But guess what? It's kind of hard to hold these men accountable when everything that you could tell them that they doing wrong, y'all women show them otherwise in your actions. Every one of the men that I've named are men who have multiple baby mamas, known to be cheaters, known to not be good men. But do you think that will ever stop them from being able to pull gorgeous, beautiful women? No, it won't. And so as long as they bad actions are always rewarded, there's no reason for them to change. I don't know when women will truly understand the power that you hold and the access that you give men. But as long as the access is always available, there is no true consequences. And since there's no true consequences, there's no way to get these men to change because there's no benefits in them changing. They get the same thing for not changing that they get for changing. So if they don't have to make any adjustments to get what they want, then why would they? It's as simple as telling a child, if you're good, I'm going to give you some candy. But if you bad, I'm going to still give you some candy. So what's the reason for them being good? Like they're going to get the candy, whether they good or bad. So why exactly would they go out their way to be good when they don't have to? They still going to get the same thing they would get for being bad, for being good. That's what this is. You can tell Cam Newton and all of those type of men how wrong it is for them to do the things that they do, but they get rewarded at the end of the day. So as long as they get rewarded, there's no reason for them to change. And they won't. Yo. Shout out to Dana Dane because she holds both men and women accountable. So, and let me say this because I think one of the things that women get misconstrued when we have this conversation is that they think that we're defending men like this. No, we're not defending men like this. Most men will tell you what these guys are doing is reckless as hell. But at the same time, men are going to look at this logically and and we're going to point the finger at the women because y'all control access to sex and two, y'all control who who and who doesn't come into this world. So with that in mind, with y'all knowing what kind of men y'all dealing with, with y'all knowing that these men have children by other women, multiple women at that. It really comes down to your choice whether or not you want to fall in line and be the next baby mama. And as and as and as you can see, even the women are starting to look at this and be like, "Okay, we can't keep pointing the finger at the men if more women are willing." It's like how many how many different baby mamas is it going to take for us to be like, "Okay, we can't just keep pointing the finger at the men." <laughs> like, come on. Let's be realistic when it comes to this shit. Like, women can't just keep being disingenuous about this topic just because they want to be biased, bro. And honestly, I think that's the problem when it comes to having women in these spaces with these conversations, period. It, they're, 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 they're too biased to even look at it logically. Because when you break it down to the way I break it down, it makes perfect sense. Let's keep it moving. Um, there's a post going around of this woman. She looks like she may be in her early 30s. She has three kids. They look like they were probably like six, four, two, or something like that. Three kids, right? Small kids. And she's just up in arms about single, successful men not wanting to date her 
or not wanting to date women that have children and saying that they're going to miss out on a blessing. Y'all got to stop this shit. Stop it. And this is coming from a woman that has a child. You cannot make people eliminate their preferences just because you feel like you're a good woman or a good person. Bitch, it's a thousand good women with no kids <laughs> that that man may be interested in. If he, if he doesn't want children that are not his in his life, please take that as a sign. That's the blessing that he's honest up front and lets you know that this won't work because you have children. Because let's say you start dating this man and he really didn't want you because you had kids, but he went ahead because you was a good woman. Then y'all get in a relationship and he don't even like your fucking kids. He don't care for your kids. He don't want to be around your kids. He don't want to do anything for your kids. Because essentially, he didn't want them little motherfuckers around. Now. Come on now. Go for who wants you and who's interested in you and stop trying to persuade people that not even looking your way that you're worthy. Because as soon as she says successful, the first thing that popped up in my mind, thinking like a man, or no, just thinking logically, she has three kids. She's single. She probably has more than one baby daddy, and all them niggas probably broke as fuck. So she's looking for a rich man that wants a ready made family so they can take care of them. So that man can take care of her and her kids. And you know what? That's what I'm starting to notice um, a lot on social media. I didn't want to stop her because she is about another two minutes or so. But have y'all noticed that it seems like a lot of women that are demanding this, it seems like they come off like they're just asking for help. And then even the women that are successful themselves, they they want to sit over here and call it equally yoked. Yet y'all want him to pay all the bills. So it's like, what was the sense of you going so hard and being a boss be in the first place? But I digress. Let's keep it moving. That's what I thought immediately. Now, I'm not telling any woman in that same situation to not want what you want, but make sure what you want wants you, okay? Um, and just know what you're asking for and just know what other options are out there because you may not be that big of a catch to some people. You may be God's greatest gift to the earth to some people but to those other people your liability your headache your extended drama that's how they see that when they see that you have three children it's not fair because men can have a million children and women not look at them like that but it is what it is you gotta know what you're getting into when you're dating you have to know what you're getting to when you're asking for certain things and you have to know what what's on the market looking for you but i will tell y'all this become the successful man that you're looking for you don't have to embody his personality you don't have to embody his masculinity just become a successful boss a successful person on your own because let me tell you something i see this every day a lot of women want men out of loneliness and they be needing men because they need some help. Um, because I feel like the word successful had all the emphasis in her post. She wasn't talking about regular niggas. She wasn't talking about a, a man with a good She wants a rich one. Girl, become that rich nigga, okay? Go get a bag, baby. Find some peace. And trust me, whoever aligns with you will align with you, boo. I'm telling you. But don't listen to me. I ain't got no man because I don't need one. Nah, baby, I need you. I need you, baby. Call me. I don't know. I don't know if you see this. I don't know who you are. Call me. But I just be rambling for real um, because I know what I know and I speak on what I know. And if I don't know about it, I ain't talking about it. Ladies, please do better. Stop begging. It's unattractive. It's silly. And actually making posts like that will make a man, a successful man that was probably interested in you, not want you now. Because he's looking at it like, oh, she's an opportunist. Because my type 
is a target for her. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm telling you, girl. Yeah, I think that's another reason why you're starting to see so much begging too. It's because the more men are seeing it, the more they're kind of like, I already know what you're looking for. I'm good. I already see what your true intentions are. I'm good. And it's it's turning men off. And I don't think women really uh, realize that. <laughs> it's like, Look, I understand that women are on social media more than men, but just because y'all are on social media more than men, don't think that men are not seeing shit like this. Oh man, men, let me let me tell y'all a little secret about men, ladies. Men are not dumb. We just have to play dumb in order to make y'all feel like y'all can get away with a lot of the shit that y'all can get away with especially nowadays because back in the day a lot of this shit wouldn't have fly like it do now but more on that in the future man but let's keep it moving so how do you feel about her having children <clears throat> like i said i'm 31 I, I don't have a problem with it i'm open to it but as long as the father's even incarcerated or he's dead So you said you, you don't have a problem with her having children as long as the fathers are incarcerated or dead. So you basically want them non-existent, not around for, for any reason. So how do you feel about her having children? Savage. Let me know what y'all think of the comments about that one. Um, if any of you guys would make that as an exception. Uh, I've said in the past, um, my exception would probably be like if she was married and you know she's widowed because if she's widowed what, I mean what are you going to really do you know but uh, interesting I never really thought about that incarcerated because I can understand why um, as a man you probably be um, would be able to look at it that way because Bro, let's keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it all the way a buck with you, bro. It's a lot of baby mamas out here still fucking their baby daddies, bro. I'm gonna just keep it a buck, bro. It's, it's baby mamas out here still fucking their baby daddies. Some of them ain't gonna keep it a hundred, but they they are. Maybe not like frequently as you would think, but you know, every now and again, they, they still be smashing. So I can understand why he thought that. But let me know what y'all think, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also look out for the travel vlog channel. Unplugged Traveler link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.